Welcome, everybody, to another episode of the Popcorn Watchlist Podcast, where we discuss and celebrate our favorites in TV and film. I'm your host, Xavier. And once again, I'm here with my fellow Watchlist panelists, Anthony, Danny, and Zach, to talk about our weekly recommendation. So we're back with a special one. Uh, this one was presented by none other than Danny. Uh, so, Danny, talk to us about your recommendation. Talk to you? Talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Tell me your name. <laughs> so the movie I uh, recommended for this week was the horror movie that came out last year. Talk to me. Do we go off of its original, like like the wide release or the uh, the sort of like what? Adelaide Film yeah, Festival I guess. went through? We're being really pedantic Wide release here. was last year. Yeah, wide release is 2020. Um, but it did come out on some festival in 2022. Yeah. To... Uh, a lot of acclaim, dude. Yeah. Um, and again, I'm the resident non horror fan <laughs> of the uh, popcorn watch list. I'm not a fan either. I, I, I guess like I'm the resident <laughs> horror yeah, fan. Should, he's the only resident <laughs> yeah. fan. You're, you're yeah. like the, you're the watch, horror guy. I watch the occasional one, but I think you watch. I mean, than I you do. X will be probably the next one because <clears throat> I think. I'm Last a, year, the year before, you watched a good amount of horror movies. Yeah, it was like you Black Phone, Barbarian, Evil Dead, yeah. Evil Dead Rise. Yeah. Like, I didn't watch any of those that you just named. I, good, fair point, Anthony. Yeah. I, there, I get to a point where I guess I'm just searching for like something unique, <laughs> something different, something good. Yeah. And this one, for lack of, you know, for, you know, spoilers, this is really freaking good. Like, what's up with Australia having horror <laughs> on lock? Like Anthony got me turned onto the you know Baduke. into the Babadook, and I was like, "What the heck is this?" That like, one I still haven't seen. Oh, it's on Netflix, I think. All right, uh, Zach. There you go. Babadook. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, just go online, go to Amazon, buy the Babadook book. Then you'll understand what the <laughs> movie's about. Yeah. The is that like buying a hand? Basically, yeah. it's like buying the no, thanks. Yes. No, I won't thanks. buy it. It's got the artwork. It might be worse. And everything. It might it's, be worse. It might be actually worse. <laughs> the I, I was um, pleasantly surprised when going through the initial movies opening, and you have the its initial like production credits and everything, mm. and I just see Adelaide Film Festival, and immediately I did the Leo DiCaprio Django. Oh, you have my curiosity, but now you have my attention. Yeah, because. Again, I to be at a festival to like be that, a, for a horror movie. Yeah, in a horror movie film festival. But on top of that, like, oh, it's an Australian horror film that's already like has my attention because of again Anthony mentioning the Babadook before, and um, these guys just seem to have a lock. But uh, well, yeah, Danny, the, I'd love to know, and for the rest of our uh, audience, like, what was the inspiration for picking this movie? Well, like I mentioned last time. I would not stop talking about this film. This is true, guys. <laughs> every you time, this, every right? time we got to like a ranking or something, I'll be like, yeah, "Yeah, this was in my top three. Uh, you guys should watch Until it." Until minus one came out. Until minus one came out. Yeah, that that was number one. <laughs> um, but to me, it was like it's a different horror film, or not a different horror film, but it just tried something new. I feel it wasn't like a dumb generic copy like, paste of something else. Yeah. Um, and we'll get more into like the specifics in the movie and like go through some cool moments. But um, like X was saying, it definitely did get a lot of acclaim when it first came out. And just looking at the Rotten Tomato scores, the critic score is a 95%, which is kind of wild for a horror movie. Yeah. Because uh, you don't really see horror movies get that big of a, a score. And even the audience score, I think, is in the 80s, like 85. Um, so... Yeah, I didn't look at any of the like aggregate scores or anything. It mm -hmm. was just he word of mouth. Yeah. Mostly Danny's mouth, but <laughs> word of mouth, but from other people too that I knew that, oh, you know, A twenty four picked up to the distribution rights and and here we go, another A twenty four horror film. I mean, like, it's A twenty four. It's directed by uh these two brothers, um, that I don't know if you guys may know, but they did YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. Um, is it called? I think it's like Raka Raka. Ra yeah. Is that their name? Yeah. Their their mo their videos used to be pretty bonkers. Um, they used to do some like effects like in their mm -hmm. videos and, and stuff like that. I can see yeah. it. Like they, they did a few episodes of the Corridor yeah. Crew. Oh, nice. And then and like showing their YouTube stuff and then talking about this movie like to promote it. Yeah, and you know it's good enough that you have that like kind of grassroots product uh, way to. 
promote it because yeah i wouldn't have known about these guys i'm not like a big like youtube content maker even though we produce content for youtube uh yeah like these two brothers just kind of like picked up a style and just rolled with it. it yeah and it's and it's incredible man like it's really and i was very much surprised like hey like this is good man like this is, and my for just sure. just before we go into like some things in the movie um budget wise we all know how easy it is to make money with horror movies yeah if you make uh, a, like you can make a decent to good one and make yeah. a lot of money well it's usually just like the bad ones that don't really make money this one was a budget of 4.5 million 4.5 yeah okay and it's uh worldwide gross was 91 million nice so yeah. it just made like all yeah. the monies you know it made you know the, the math probably like 70 million <laughs> you said profit. 91 million yeah that's just just double their budget for you said 4.5 4. yeah so 4. 5. 9 million let's just say just doing even 10 for advertising and everything um it made tw- 20 times 20.2 20. <laughs> repeating times it's, it's budget <laughs> it sounds about right yeah and then you add like if anthony said like you have to add some other production costs or... so let's just say total is like a 10 million dollar after it everything. made nine times it's yeah it's yeah nuts. um and like uh, i think it was like a, a couple weeks after uh launch they then greenlit a sequel Talk to me. With the number two. Yeah. Nice. We all we all love those titles. I chuckled. Well, like, it's not a, well, it's like the number two, but with the hand, like yeah, the, with the, 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 the hand, the, 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 the two fingers forming the two two fingers in there. Yeah. Um, and that that was the whole conceit of it. I remember seeing like, oh, it has to do with like a hand, but I don't know what's going on there. And the whole premise is the fact that there's this some would say cursed or special hand that's in an embalmed hand from like a, a former some type of psychic medium yeah they said medium. Yeah. and uh these kids in australia got a hold of it and decided to go to town and basically make like a, a like a party game out of it which yeah. is wild to me like, which seems like what would happen like nowadays with like yeah Going live on yeah, like, like, Instagram or Twitch yeah, or something. Like, and what was wild? TikTok. TikTok yeah, and then, yeah, we're gonna Snapchat TikTok it <laughs> and see all the reactions. <clears throat> oh, I love the. Oh, it's gotta be fake. Like, look at their. Oh, yeah. we're gonna make another video, and it's like. Well, I find it crazy. Cause what you said X was uh that uh using it as a party game to me it felt like more like, like the equivalent of doing drugs yeah well it was you see <laughs> was, that later yeah, sure you and see like, that like they're getting high you don't really see that from getting, the videos like, partially but... possessed by <laughs> yeah. by spirits yeah they don't really show that until like the first time that the main characters use it mm-hmm. and then that's when you see that like oh they're it's like all like, they're enjoying it and i was well, like I there's think... no i'm like how is this a rush like yeah. they're like that's awesome like dude you have an outer freaky outer body experience where you're just seeing like dead spirits in limbo and just no it's a rush i was like there is no free i guess like you know the fear well, and the well we'll talk about it later yeah it is nuts dude like like but and the fact is it's like yeah we're just gonna get out of hand but i think like the initially like i didn't know like that was the kind of conceit of it like i thought it was like yeah, a video game but I, th- I thought initially it was just like another one of these horror movies with <laughs> You know, like the Ouija board, board yeah. or, or whatever, with a bunch of jump scares that aren't scary. I thought it was gonna be another one of those. I thought it was gonna be like a Jumanji thing, or like, oh, I found this hand, and now look, guys, Death check this Jumanji. out. <laughs> yeah, Death Manji. No, the, <laughs> but like the opening scene mm. set the tone immediately. I thought it was really freaking cool. The one shot. The yeah. one shot. It was like a two or three yeah, minute one long. shot. It wasn't that long, but it it definitely like got you into the the vibe as as a side note like are all australian parents just really chill <laughs> like this lady was Seemed in the like middle it. of the party like cutting up like veggies i was like dude lady like you got a house party with like 80 people here and you're just like yeah, that's cool yeah. oh get your brother out of the, the room there it's kind of weird um and so that whole one shot you have cole we find out he's, he's cole and he's trying to find his brother and you know, we end up seeing that he's he's duck touched it. or something. Yeah, duck it. What a cool name. <laughs> but I'm telling you, man, Australia's got a lot. A lot. What a weird name. No, that's a cool name. <laughs> I thought it was Duncan. Dunk it. No, <laughs> no, Duncan. It's Duncan. It's Duncan. Because I, I had the subtitles off. Like, I, have, oh, I have a right, friend who watched this that. movie in the theaters, and he's and he was wishing he had subtitles because he's not used to the Australian accent. accent? Oh. And he's just like, I half the time I couldn't hear what they were saying. <laughs> he's like, I couldn't hear people's names. So I was like, yeah, that's fair, but. 
with that being said, like you get this whole tracking shot, uh, one, one shot sequence of going into the house, going to different rooms, trying to find his brother, and you see his brother's just not well. He's like, like a scratch through, on his back. Scratch on his back. He looks sounds like you're not dad, and like I, I was like, oh, this is freaky. And you know, from there it, it gets to that like, you know, hey, we're gonna get you out of here. He's all like zonked out. Looks like he's drugged out. Like well, he looks like they had to break the door open. Yeah, <laughs> it looked like he was like, hey, you got off a high bender and you had to get him out. And so everybody's like taking pictures of him, just like, oh, stop putting with the cameras. Hey, put away your phones, whatever. And then you just, you hear like you hear some, like a ching. a ching and he just runs and just stabs him in the shoulder. I was like, holy! I hell. mean, normally that would have killed someone. <laughs> if it was if, if it was a, if it was an American Hollywood production, if it, it was the Batman, would have died. died. Yeah, if anything to the alone. shoulder, yeah. it's automatic death. But <laughs> they're tough in Australia. I know. Obviously, they 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 withstand you know yeah huge spiders and kangaroo kicks, kangaroo, kangaroo kicks, kicks. <laughs> sharks, uh, whatever. crocodile fights, just everything venomous and danger poison is there the biggest of whatever koala attacks <laughs> i'm telling you man koala. huntsman spiders dude it's it's australia's wild it's i awesome. mean a koala falls from a tree dude you're, you're knocking out you're getting you're getting wrecked <laughs> you gotta wear like a eucalyptus uh like yeah. what do you call it sweater for you to like, get out of that situation so, <laughs> so you just take it off feed it and they'll be like you run away and you're like here just eat it oh my god <laughs> that's the only way to save yourself so yeah um and then at the end after he stabs his brother like yeah. that dude everyone's just running out like, oh, my God, that? And, he, and he's still like zonked out yeah. the, the next the next part freak like that was like oh this is the kind of like this is this is setting a tone and by the way we're talking spoilers yes and thank you <laughs> it's the very beginning of the movie yeah. it's the very beginning of the movie that like, you get this like you know dude stabs his brother takes the same kitchen knife just straight in his forehead yeah. Yep. yep. No. No questions. No, like, no yeah. Like no hesitation. Just boom. I go. Oh, that's how we're starting this movie. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but then we meet our main characters of the movie. Yeah. You have uh, Mia, Jade, Riley. Uh, the main character you would have to say would be Mia in this case. For sure. Yeah. I think we have to ask uh, Zach who the mom is. In oh movie. yeah. No, I, <laughs> I I knew it right away. Yeah. Um, she played a uh, princess, uh, Eowyn in lord of the rings two yeah. towers yeah yeah jade's mom Which is okay. sue played by miranda otto and like i know miranda otto's name just because like ever since like oh, snap miranda, miranda otto's in here this is awesome <laughs> i hope she doesn't die spoiler alert she doesn't <laughs> but uh <laughs> yeah we basically we find out that the whole conceit is that mia it's been like two years since her mom died mm -hmm. she died under not great circumstances and they have like a sort of, still not sort of like, like remembrance sure. on it um, like, like what's factual so that's if, if part this, of if you know if later yeah. on which so, we'll get into but so the whole the whole point we'll, of, we'll of the there, movie we'll is there. that you know um because of uh, this stuff that happened mia really just hangs out with uh jade and her younger brother riley and her mom sue they she hangs up he, she hangs out with them a lot just as a, as a way of like Coping, coping through it you know they even mentioned like oh she was she got depression for a little bit it's like oh i'm better now it's like but mm. you can kind of see that like because of there's certain again like very good good writing and acting is that like you know she's still not like, kind of really over it or okay or which you know something like that is and pretty rough still You're not gonna expect, not good with her dad and like relationship wise yeah. she feels like there's something that there's maybe hiding or you know this is really rough and, you know, traumatic so from there, they end up going to some house party and they see these two uh, people roll up and say, oh, let's bring it out. And they, they end up seeing the infamous talk to me hand, uh, this whole like it's an embalmed hand of a, like a, a, get a, a dead psychic medium that used to run seances. And it's like all graffitied up and everything because it's covered in plaster. Yeah. And so like people have written on it and done whatever stuff. and. What's wild is that like they whip, they bring out the hand and initially like they they have like, I think because so many people have been seeing the videos on social media, mm -hmm. they've kind of figured out weird like the sort of like timing and the rules to everything. Uh, I, thought that was, like, I thought that was a clever way of bringing that up. Yeah. And because at first you're like, wait, how do these kids know this stuff? Like, this makes no sense. But then like it's like, oh no, had this to have done be fake. It so many they've times. done it so many damn times, and they've seen it circulate so many damn times. And we start to you can then start to suspect that maybe the whole thing with Cole and Duckett in the beginning had something to do with this because mm -hmm. they never they reached they yeah. went over a limit or something wild like that. So. The whole, everybody kind of like gets a little freaked out and then you know 
uh, Mia's there, and one of the uh, characters, uh, basically uh, Haley, like she she rolls up with Joss, like the two characters that are kind of like running around with the hand. They they're like, oh, I don't like her, or whatever, and so she kind of like to break the ice and to kind of like get cool, be she's like cool. She's like, I'll go first. Volunteer. And immediately, like, dude, that threw me off guard because it's just like how like right into it it gets. Like no like build up. It's just just boom. Here we go. Like it's it felt very realistic. Cause right? she was the one also. Um, wait, which part are we talking about? The very the first, beginning. The first, the first, party. first time she goes. Yeah, she to goes the to the party. party. Okay. Yeah, okay. and Jade. She, Jade brought her over, and Haley's like, oh, she freaks me out, or like you know, she she drags me down. She's yeah, damn she was having a bad time at the party. Yeah, and she's like, all right, well, you know what? Roll up. Yeah, especially since Jade's dating. Uh, Daniel, who I guess like used to when they were much like younger, X. had like an ex was an ex of Mia's, but they were like in like middle school or something. So it's like it didn't count or whatever. Yeah, you have the fun little like uh, social dynamics going on to it, but they get right into it. And again, they knew what the like again like they know the words to say. It's like oh, we gotta say it like this because it's sort of like passed down and mm-hmm. spread around social media. You and you need the candle. Yeah, lighting the candle, and then you know that you get the. Like I did the again the 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 Leo snap whistle like she just you know right there talk to me it was like you know you, you holding the hand talk to me and immediately the title. it was like that's the title but also yeah. like immediately see some freaky spears like yeah some freaky like immediately also like, like how did you figure out what to say to like yeah get them I get it to work you know, yeah yeah because first they say talk to me but then they also say like um let I let uh, you in. I let you in like how many. It must have been, did you just yeah, how many did you random and stuff? And then something like, happened, and then you're like, oh, okay, now we know. Yeah, and because, like, people are experts on it, it's just like, hey, we're going to we're gonna mess around with it and try it out. Like, especially since it's like, it, you could infer that, like, oh, this is from a medium thing. And again, this is passed down, right. so since it's passed down, someone told them to do this Right, so if that before. story is true, then maybe, like, maybe. that's what that medium would do when they would perform the seances. Correct. Yeah. So Also, maybe it's also written. On, their on the hand, maybe that's which what we haven't doing. really seen. Like, um, yeah, I don't, yeah, I'm not I don't, looking at a, a, a hand, that hand. I'm well, no, I don't, I don't think it was like graffiti. I think it was like actual weird, like, like, like some like uh, scripturing or something. Yeah, yeah. So like, yeah. Like if you look at the poster for the movie, it just maybe. looks like people wrote on it oh, like, and yeah. stuff. Maybe. But that like, actually, like that actually make it like funnier and like when you not as creepy. Yeah, that's the thing. Like if you kid. Well, like that's the thing. Like they they. Run like people are just running around or like just graffitiing it up because like oh we're having fun it's a party game like getting possessed is fun like yeah I don't, holy hell I don't like know what kids think that's fun but. I, I guess it's again the rush like how the feeling of it because Mia goes through her whole thing she gets possessed and like the whatever spirit is just kind of like doing some wild stuff and again the makeup props to the makeup because all the the, the eyes, eyes go black. The eyes going yeah. black, and like the sunken eyes going through. And it's like red um, in certain parts. Um, they have the uh, like drying up. The camera movement every time the spirit goes in them, and the their head like knocks back, <laughs> and the camera like moves. Yeah, like like the head knock gets knocked over. Testament Just, to the brothers' work, like with, with their YouTube videos. See, like that was like, like half of like uh, doing the full like flip that they did in like 20 times a madam web but it was more just like a half <laughs> yeah, why'd you have i had to bring, to bring it up just up? to say show you as an example like like how you should like, do it, it was like restrained it was like they did it to make it look like it was like the head knocking back not a full tilt to whirl whatever these people were doing it, to me it's not, okay to, 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 to anthony's point you can tell they have experience doing stuff like that because they know what works and when it, you go overboard. Yeah. Kind of like a lot of the kids going over, but trying to exactly. knowing the limit of ninety seconds of, uh, uh, with the, with everything in the hand. Mia goes through and she's like, "That was freaking awesome!" And then everybody kind of goes through and they have their like fun where they're just like, "Let's make fun!" Like well, I was just like, they're just taking videos of like like barking spirits people like doing some loot obscene stuff and it's like dude this is out of hand but they're just having fun with it i'm just like like it's like you're laughing but it's also like you're still uncomfortable i yeah. i want to know if that's the kind of stuff that like was hooking you specifically danny like yeah because you're like well i want to see what happens obviously but like obviously this is not right you know like kind of like, mm, like it's kind of perverse be, yeah. right yeah you're just like dude you're like messing with other people's spirits and it's kind of getting to a certain point and then in this first one, that's when we see, like, obviously, some of the rules, like, oh, okay, you, you know, blow out the candle to close the door, light the candle, open the door, 
um, what you got to say. But then we're watching this. I don't know if it's actually 90 seconds, like that clip. It seemed like, longer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but if it was, it, w- it would be cool. But, you should time it. <laughs> yeah, but when they're like, oh, we're at 83 seconds, uh, let's, let's take it off. I was yeah. like, oh, they're not going <laughs> to make time. it. Uh, and like the first spirit that she got, like that that was that was in her, like that was just like there after, like and pointing at the little the kid, kid Riley, just like he's right behind you. It's like, dude, what that like? And I love that great. you couldn't see anything. Like obviously there was nothing behind him, like from everyone else's point of view. Um, but and that's that made it better. Yeah, that, honestly, that, that made, made that scene like, better. The, the cold, like just still. Uh, yeah. rolling of or that, like of the that door camera closing. there, and just nothing. Like, yeah, door closing. All stuff going on. People are like, "Dude, what's going on?" Just like, guys, you don't know. <laughs> this is some wild ass stuff. Like, when are you gonna hit the limit? And then you got that one kid. Oh, it's fake. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, because didn't she start saying things about like some of the people there? Like, I think that was in the second or like one. Thing, things no. like oh, that was in the in the, that in was the, second the second other party. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. The first one, they never got to say anything. I think she was just saying like, "Oh, like." To the kid, like, yeah, oh, he's oh, behind you, or they yeah, want you. Yeah, they was like, you. oh, they want you. And, like, that was the whole yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that first sequence actually makes more sense for, like, what's coming up in the movie. Because mm-hmm. they did pass the 90 seconds. Um, and, obviously, they closed the door, but you'll see. Like, yeah, there, stuff, yeah, like, there's stuff still more of that kind of whole, like, hit, you know, that connection to it. this person that was came in on this one... Assuming they drowned, mm-hmm. um, yeah, they looked wet and wet like, and like, puffy and dirty and yeah, and, and na- that nasty is a theme like throughout the movie. You'll see, uh, which I'll mention at the end, if in case you didn't get it. But um, after that, then we go on to, I believe, the second party, like where they wanted to do it at her house. Yeah, uh, it was great. Like so, at, at the at the friend's house. At Jade's, friend's house. Yeah, yeah Jade's, Jade's house. Sue is just like no parties. Hey, we have a party. You're banned for life. <laughs> have a party. I'm gonna br- I'm gonna punch both of you in the <laughs> face. face. I was like, dude, you're even trying to like, like, hey, yeah, you know, it's okay. Like they told me, they told me it's okay. Party. Yeah, <laughs> hey, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, <laughs> it's just like, bam, oh, you're good. Know. Yeah, you're good. Like everybody was in on it. Don't tell mom there's so a party. And the, the the best part is like I will punch both of you square in the face. And like as her mom was like I believe she even said you're ba- you're gonna be banned from this house for life. <laughs> yeah, and like Mia, you're banned from this house for life. I guess she was. I guess oh. Ooh, uh, almost because yeah. spoilers, right? <laughs> yeah, it was it's the, the whole the second like getting high seance maneuver is what really gets to like the next level of freakiness or even beforehand. No, I think, no, we have to go back beforehand. Like, again, like, more of the setting of the tone and just, like, yeah, this is some really freaky stuff, is that, like, um, you know, we get to a point where, um, who was it that got, that did the thing for the thing, and then it was her mom. It was, it was the, the, the brother of the friend. It was, it was at the party. It was Riley. The second party. Yeah. Oh, at the second? It was the, Riley. Was it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's that. That's, but before that, after the whole, like, when she was possessed and uh-huh. they kind of, like, marked him, um, there was a point where it was, like, you know, you know, he was freaking out and they were staying over. She, Mia was staying over uh, Jade's house mm-hmm. with Riley. And so Riley's, like, kind of freaking out. Like, she, and Jade's, oh, then, like, like, the couch. Or yeah, like, Jade's, uh, like, you're not sleeping here. And then Mia's, like, okay, cool. Hey, you're scared. No, I'll hang out. Like, it's cool. Like, acting as a sort of, like, second surrogate sister. And so the, the freaky part is like, you know, like, hey, like he sleeps with his phone on. He's like, oh, I turn off the phone, put it here to sleep. And you have the other like kind of dead hand kind of about to touch his cheek and then right cut. I was like, dude, that, that was a perfect cut. Well, because it showed that she like took off the headphones from his ear. Yeah. And then she the took off away, the phone. And like, and then you see the, a, yeah. That's, and then you see the creepy. Yeah, you have the Fingers. freaky dead hand. <laughs> that was really cool because like it was just about to touch his face and then. Cut to school. I was like, damn, that's freaking good. That was really good. And yeah, then we get the whole party scene and the second party scene. And that's where things truly take a turn. You know, Riley's probably like, I want to try it. You know, because it's, it's almost like the whole like, hey, like, little kid, that would be cool. I want to I wanna take a puff. You know, take a hit, man. <laughs> and, uh, uh, peer pressure. Yeah. And Mio was, was there like, yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's let him do it. I want to be the cool, you know, person for it, whatever. And things totally take a turn. 
Yeah, it was a pretty cool sequence because it's they do like a montage showing like everyone at the party using it. Poor multiple, Daniel using it multiple times. It's kind of yeah. like everybody passing freaking weed around, smoking. Dude, poor Just, Daniel. <laughs> yeah, poor Daniel. What a guy. Yeah, he the first time he got. <laughs> Possessed is just like these. They're like dry humping the floor, just like the spirits getting <laughs> yeah, on there. And then he's, the dog, dude, delete it. He's just like, delete it. No. <laughs> yeah, shout out to the dog. And then they're like, like okay, he, we'll do it again, but you have to lock up the dog. <laughs> yeah, like and no cameras. But everybody was filming. Like <laughs> he said, no cameras, but yeah, they kept no running. cameras, and they get the dog out. Poor dog. As soon like, as you say on. no cameras, all the lights all the flash cameras, on. Come on, <laughs> come on. with <laughs> flash. Exactly. Yeah, dude. The uh, um, yeah, it was, a, it was a fun montage until it wasn't. Until it, <laughs> yeah, until it wasn't. Yeah, after Jade was like, the, the, Jade was Riley's sister, and telling him, "No, you're not gonna do it." And he was like, "Yeah, you know what? Let's do it." Okay, cool. And then they do the thing. That's where it gets tricky because uh, what we believe, or what Mia believes, is her mom is the one kind of going in through Riley. And she's just there like, oh, you know, I really care, and blah, blah, blah. Just, like, really hooked in. And it's so hooked in. Guys, it's my mom. And then, oh, wait, it's past the 90 seconds. And things take a turn. Yeah, like, that. this whole sequence, like, how it was filmed. I don't know what the practical stuff on it, how the, the sound mixing. But that was really good and really freaky. Like, the whole point, like, him smashing his, bashing his head in, um, trying to, like, still go through, like, Trying to like grab his eye, like dude, yeah, that was the that was like, yeah, hey, that was don't do it. Like, yeah, like, like there was this moment where you can see like like the eye was about to pop out too. <laughs> yeah, and there's this moment because you're you're like, oh man, for Riley to do it, because especially the mom was you know like you know don't have a party, don't do any of this. Yeah, like, and the you're sister just like, also, oh. the sister was like, no, don't do it. Like, yeah, you're too young. I the want sister's you to also it. like, yeah. Yeah, and then she have, left like, because she was she the only one. Out. She was the only one that never. That she never did it, and she was like, "No, this is like uncomfortable," and and I definitely don't want you, my younger brother, doing this. Exactly. And then she stepped out for like a minute, and then you know he was begging me, "Oh, let me just do it. I'll do it for the less than ninety seconds. I'll do it for fifty. Yeah. You're like, oh, okay, yeah. She's like, fine, I guess. Totally fifty. <laughs> I didn't they drop it down to like forty, and they're like, okay, forty. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, deal or no deal. So, <laughs> my, so my question is, maybe you guys can help me out. So Riley, the younger brother, does it, and he freaks out at first because he realizes that he sees Mia's mom. We don't see Mia's mom, but we understand that that he freaked out because then after he gets possessed, then she starts. He's she's talking through him, and then mm-hmm. you and then you understand like, oh crap, this is this girl's mom. And so my question is, so after Mia makes him take longer than the ninety seconds and is kind of talking to her mom through him, then he starts like convulsing, and it seems like gets possessed by another spirit. Mm-hmm. And then because he gets possessed by another spirit, that's when he starts going crazy and then smacking his head. Right? Is That's that what I would think. right? Is that what happened? It wasn't the mom smacking his head, right? No, no. Or yeah, well, well because I, I think because he like comped back again yeah. his head and then did another like ah, ah, like freaking out like I just having a seizure throughout so. this whole movie. You never see the actual mom. I think it's just exactly. I think they show her another, in the video. Yeah, a video. more. I think I it's just another more malevolent spirit, like impersonating out that it's the mom the whole time. That's yeah. not what I got to out of then all of try this. to like get to Mia get. In yeah, or, especially whatever. since those spirits were trying like, hey, I'm mark her feelings. Yeah, yeah, and we're marking Riley. I know the perfect way is to get through to this girl because she's getting hooked on this feeling. Haha. <laughs> Blue sweet. Don't you dare um, bring that song into this movie. The uh she's getting she's getting That's hooked. My song. Yeah. <laughs> she's out here getting hooked to this the, this whole sensation of the whole possession thing and also now, hey, like here's the emotional thread. Cool, her mom killed herself, so we gotta figure this out. And yeah. and that's where they kinda hook they put the hooks on her. Cause then we, we get something like towards the end which kind of plays into the whole like like oh uh, listen to me. It's not, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. <laughs> yeah. I don't, we don't even. Have to go yeah. We the whole thing. It's more just like I like. I want to talk about just like the whole execution of it. Like there's all these underlying themes and there's all the subtleties of like, you know, like there there is like obviously they're holding the hand like the whole power behind holding hands in this movie. If you notice mm-hmm. between like you know friends or loved ones holding hands and then it's like using the 
hand and to talk to, you know, and get through these spirits and letting them in. And like, it's almost like, Hey, this is nice. And then it gets really freaky and perverse at the same time. Like there's yeah. this dichotomy of it all. It's really, really freaky. But you'll cool. notice like throughout the sequences, whenever Mia sees like her mom throughout the scenes, mm -hmm. like uh, a reflection or something. like, over time mm -hmm. she starts to get like a little like more more and more dead more mm -hmm. dead and more like like if she drowned almost where i've looked up and like i pictured that it's the original like um it's person that she saw the first that spirit she got that she saw into, yeah was impersonating the mom the whole time okay. that's what i think too and as yeah. you get through a, later on in the movie then you notice it's it's her. So, so I guess that brings me back to my which question. stayed in the whole time because she passed the ninety seconds. I guess right, it, but the, so, but the, I'm saying so, like that spirit, the of the mm -hmm. person that got drowned, that's yeah. essentially the one that's like staying with Mia, right? Correct. Yeah, and that's why Mia keeps seeing weird things and her mom. Right? Yeah. So if kind of that spirit is the one mimicking her mom throughout the then movie, with Riley, then what's Riley. going on with Riley? Um. Then that leads me. To think that that version of that spirit that's copying in the mom uh -huh. isn't really in Riley, and that's why I think something else went into Riley and I mean, started making him hate yeah, himself. It, it could be something else, yeah, or, or someone else, maybe also trying to impersonate the mom, but not necessarily the same one from Mia. Yeah, that's the only thing I'm like a little confused about. Because then I was just like, if if you just go straight off of yeah, this actually was her mom, which it probably wasn't. It's like, so then, then technically the mom should have stayed with him, not with yeah. Mia. Yeah. Like the, the, I guess the image of her mom. But yeah, I don't know. That part confused me a little. Cause then it was like, it almost seemed like something else, another spirit went in him. That was, it was the one that was, he's behind you. That's what I think. He's like, oh, he wants mm -hmm. you. Well, later on in the that. movie, you see when Mia's talking to him, she's actually talking to the spirit and it's in showing, him. And it's that old man. Yeah. yeah. So I so is it the old man that went I, in him later, and that was the version that was beating but, up the body? Like I don't. It was a I think weird. Danny has a little bit of the answer, but it also it's talking about the remember the little girl when she went to the hospital to try like, hey, I can help you get speak to him, and then she does the I let you in into mm -hmm. that, the, part that part. Nuts. That was pretty yeah. cool and scary as hell. <laughs> and he's just like, man, this poor kid's suffering. Yeah. So like, basically, at this point, like, you know, uh, Mia's whole perception of what she's seeing is compromised because of that first session yeah um, it, it's all because of that first yeah because session. that first session like yeah they closed the door but it was there for so long that it lingered in with her and then she allowed it to come through further into herself because of the um connection from her mom or the long lot wanting to have that connection still with her mom it was and also the, the first time i think the only time in the movie where like when she said the words like the door in that house like opened yeah. up <laughs> And then everybody was like, ooh, like joking it's it fake. off. <laughs> joking it <laughs> joking it's off. Like and in the then, background, it's like, and then, like, and then, like, then it closed when they blew out the candle. Yeah. 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 So I don't think that happened in any of the other times they were, they were nah, using it. I just so. think other random stuff happened. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, cool montage sequence that turned into like a crazy, horrific sequence because <laughs> possessed little brother was smacking his and head on I'm the floor and then on the freaking wall and then on the dresser it was, it was brutal trying to pull his eye out i was like geez and yeah, i dude. i feel like because he was younger i feel like obviously that may be more like vulnerable so and like vulnerable, yeah. to further like damage or yeah, you know you probably have to be like at least 21 yeah to, to shake this thing's hand or something right yeah gotta be legal to, yeah it's to almost drink. like uh you're too young to be taking these drugs yeah. <laughs> shouldn't be taking these drugs and, and then and the moral of this movie is drugs are bad <laughs> it, yeah. well yeah sure. don't, don't fall into peer pressure <laughs> i think that's the bigger yeah, yeah. don't fall to yeah, peer pressure. No, the peer pressure and uh if there's a big group uh or spirit pressure Oh, <laughs> if uh, if all your friends go jump off a cliff, uh, yeah, don't jump off a cliff. <laughs> Unless yeah. your mom tells you, <laughs> and even then, maybe question your mom if she's telling you to jump yeah, off. Question a cliff. your belief. <laughs> <laughs> don't see into your dreams because they're now possessed by spirits. Now, uh, I want to ask: Did you guys expect the ending? Yes. to be that way. 
Yes. Kind of. Sort of. I expected, of, it. Just I expected not, it to happen. Like, I, I expected I like, it to happen. I just didn't know how I was going to get there. Yeah. I, I expected it. Yeah, I was going to take a turn where she's just going to completely lose it, just mm-hmm. like um, Cole's brother, uh, Duckett, at the beginning. It's like, oh, this is going to mirror the same thing yeah. that happened, but there's got to be, like, that lasting connection that's still going to help her, like, find out what's going on and turn. And so, like, I like, so at the end, it's just like, okay, like, you didn't, like, you see the wheelchair, but I mean, you didn't see Riley go through. I'm like, okay, cool. So yeah. then it, she finally just said, no, like, I have to get rid of it. And I think that that ends up helping out Riley, too, in the end. Because if you notice at the end, like, he's, his face is, like, less more puffed normal. up. It's coming back. It's, he's, like, healing as he should. It's not under that terrible hold. Well, every time he would come come to, the spirit of me is like, ah, we're going to mess him up again. It's in just, which part? The very end. Like, his face is better. Yeah, well, that that yeah. whole that whole section, I didn't, like, believe any of it. I don't think any of that was real. Well, it's limbo real, yeah. I think. Because well, like, no, because it almost, it, um, yeah, it, was, it almost made it seem like when she went into that room that he was, like, way better. And then the family's like, oh, okay, let's go. It, it seemed well, that, that super fake. That part is kind of yeah. like a limbo area because... Yeah. You see the dad go up the elevator, uh-huh. and she can't go with him. Yeah, because yeah, because he's going to heaven. You also see the there was a guy in the hospital with like another family member. He was like you know not intubated, but he was kind of like you know plugged into stuff. Like, yeah. and there. So that old man was sat was sitting up in his bed. Yeah, in so that area. So like, it's like that you get the whole like limbo thing happening, and those are the spirits that come through. And I remember. There's a line in the earlier part of the movie, and where there's like, it's like, oh, there's gotta be like, it's like obviously like, oh, where's the other hand? It's like, oh, imagine there were two of them because one's okay and then one's going through, and that kind of thing happens. I'm just like, I'm, I remember because I'm watching this with my sister. I'm looking. I'm like, I know it's gonna happen. <laughs> and we get to the whole, the very, very end. I'm just like, yep. Mm. When when she woke up, or not woke up, but like, kind of like when she came to to wear the that light, location and. And you see, like, the other person holding the hand. Yeah, you're the like, other hand, you're like, here we go. <laughs> this is and it's, like, in, well, it's, in Spain or somewhere. It's not the other hand, but it is another hand. Another hand, hand. yeah. It may I mean, be the same hand. No. Well, the no, original, the, original, the hand original that hand? she grabs at the end is whoever's the person in real life yeah, holding that hand. Yeah, that's true, but if you see the guy's hand, like, the guy that looked, the, the hand the, that the, he's the, using. The original hand was left-handed. Yeah, this yeah. one was right. Was this one was right-handed? It was. It's because right-handed. it's okay. the person on the other side. That's why. No, but is yeah. it? But it, not mirrored. But okay. if yeah, you look at the saying. Greek guy that was doing it, does he? Did he has the other hand? Right? Is it a right hand or is it a left hand? I don't I, remember. I, I don't believe know. it was it's, supposed to be the other hand because it's the other hand of that. Medium yeah, of that medium. Guy. No, no, no. The the way I understood it is, she grabs like what she saw is, like let's say, it was me. I'm dead. And you're the one playing the game. Correct. You, I see your hand because you're playing the game. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't see. Ghost. I see an actual hand. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I, like, that's a me, real hand. I'm Mia. I'm not seeing. You're not seeing the, the other hand, hand of correct. The, no, the weird thing. You exactly. are, I'm seeing your hand. I'm you seeing are. your hand. But right. to the perspective of the other dude that summoned her accidentally with the other hand, was that a left hand or a right hand they're using? No, no. I, I, I'm pretty sure her grabbing the real person's hand in the real life. Is just like her becoming like the spirit through the weird, creepy hand. Like it wasn't the other hand of the the medium. Yeah, yeah. yeah Th- that's, that's how well, I understood it. Well, I guess maybe they don't show the hand. What Did, I'm thinking is the sequel is gonna have the other hand, the other side, which is why it's called number two. Do you think it's gonna take uh, take place where this one left off? Yeah, or or just another group. Isn't another or, group. But maybe it's another group that finds that the finds other hand. The, yeah. No, or it's the same hand that just got around from Australia now it's in Greece. Which would be I thought it was freakier. like Spain or something. It's not like Spanish. No, yeah. when you watch it, I, I, I oh, cheated since I watched it with subtitles. Uh, it says speaking Greek. Uh, so it traveled from Australia to... If, if, what, oh, one, theory, the same hand. one theory can be like it traveled from Australia to Greek to Greece, sorry, with just the one hand, or if it's the second hand. But you know, again, we made it so it's like it's like freaky Jumanji. We, I mean, we kind of skipped over to like the end of the movie. We completely skipped the whole part where, after you know the traumatic event, the kid getting hit or hurting himself, nobody wanted to see Mia because it was her fault. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She was moping around, and uh, the guy that she, she kind of likes. Oh, yeah. uh, she he couldn't go home because he lied to his parents of where he was gonna be. So she's like, "Oh, yeah, oh just yeah, stay yeah. with me. It's all good." 
And then a very cool but weird sequence is that oh, like man. she starts having weird dreams at okay. night. All right, again, I'm cheating because I'm, you know, I I'm taking notes okay. here on my iPad. If you look at footage from the movie, like I'm, I'm seeing, I'm looking at a still shot of Riley possessed, hold, going from left hand to left hand, and yeah. so the hand that 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 Mia sticks out at the end is a right hand. So they're, the guy is using the right hand connecting to the right hand. Interesting. And okay. I just looked it up to it. Um, it is a second hand. That's freaking Ooh. awesome. Ooh. Okay. Nice. That's so freaking and cool. It is in Greece. Yeah, that's so freaking cool. And then, like, I liked that uh, we we skipped it a little bit, but it's cool that the um, we they talk about Haley and Joss getting the hand from Duckett mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. he's like, "Oh, I'll get it away from me." But at that point, he was too far. Like, it was like kind of like what happened to Mia is too far gone. And so, but they find Cole and Cole, the, the surviving brother, mm -hmm. and he's just like, "I'll oh, screw you guys." Like, get away you, from me, man. yeah, like you saw that he was going through. You didn't help him out. You just kind of like right, like let him out there to do whatever. And Mia was there like, hey, I, I know what this means, like what happened. And then he gave an idea like, look, over time, this is supposed to just fade away. But yeah. if you stick to it with too too long, like if you're just, you keep using and using and using it, it's just going to always yeah. linger with you, which I and think he pretty much said like, you're screwed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like, how many times has this happened where like, a group of people like go through it or whatever and then and they, they like, it give much. it off to someone else and then someone else and then obviously travels around it, like it kind of reminded me i don't know if you guys have seen it that movie it follows have you seen that movie it long ago i, it was I don't remember it came out maybe i think at this point 10 years ago eight years ago also That's, low budget uh, horror movie okay it was pretty good it was one of those where people were like oh super original very creepy can i also like smile most there's i didn't a, see smile there's a um, thing where it's like it follows you yeah, yeah. Like it just but, but yeah so it follows is like it kind of is like that where it's like they Damn. find the no, guy I gotta... the person that like explains what's going on to them mm. pretty much saying like oh yeah it's now passed on to you you're screwed by and i was like <laughs> so i was like damn just like that movie only it was worse than that other movie because yeah, it was gotta... just like it had to be passed on by like having sex with people. Oh, oh, that's very interesting. Yeah, it is, like a, like it's a, a weird like a succubus movie. Succubus or it's a weird incubus movie. or something. But it follows. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sort of like a interesting kind of situation like that. Okay, no, I, I got. I like this, this movie better than it follows. <laughs> by the way. No, this movie's been great. Like the whole idea where like the spirit tricks Mia to like stab her dad. I was like, dude, that's yeah. that's out of. Well, hand. like I was saying, I this part was. Uh, creepy but I, also kind of cool yeah, I because she was having the dreams when she was sleeping that night yeah. after all the craziness happened right. I, like, I take then, it back I'm looking at the final scene right now and they're holding out their left hands so it might I think it's the same hand not I think I saw somewhere it's, see, it's, I'm, that, it's, I'm pretty sure that's just that's not like her hand that's just the weird porcelain hand it's not porcelain it's, no like he's full, he's technically because he's using the hand yeah. he's holding her hand and so see that's no, her well, left we hand. Know, left we hand. know, we know. Yeah, so but hand. she's there like in the spirit. It's just like that's the left hand. And then, and then he had his left hand. And out he had too. his left hand out. And then he gives it. And he's you know in English he's like I let you in. And it's like oh, at the movie. <laughs> but yeah. the uh, it's free. It was it was it was better great than I expected. I was like hey, this is pretty good. Like I I liked it a lot. Mm -hmm. And again, it's unsettling. It's creepy. There's like weirdly enough some interesting world building going on um there's great allegory obvious or like you know kind of like tying in themes again of like um people turning to different things to cope um yeah. and like having you know like knowing that hey there's still like the support structure around you either way and um it can you know like going through other methods to try to cope can really lead to some bad situ you know some really bad circumstances and you know the power of family really makes a difference and there's yeah. a lot of yeah, family, <laughs> family, family. Um, but yeah, the I liked the scene where she was dreaming because it showed what they explained earlier on in the movie. How they oh like oh it's a big rush and it feels great because it's an out of body experience. It's like I'm watching something else control me, and so it was her watching Some that spirit. the weird creepy underwater spirit crawling up in the bed and then starting to suck on this dude's toes they're like man this is disgusting <laughs> yeah dude. but then in reality it's just her doing it because yeah, cause, she's, cause, being, cause possessed, she's so. being possessed right yeah. but so like yeah. but you saw from her perspective of like this is how it would feel if she was doing the hand thing i like that, that she's just watching yeah. what yeah. the thing is doing so it was, was essentially really cool. her watching her own body do that only she was seeing the spirit, the spirit not her body freaking, yeah um, freaking, and so yeah. i thought that it was nasty but it was cool that they showed that perspective and then 
so the thing another question i have is so like later on near the end of the movie when she's getting uh mind gamed by her mom spirit uh when her and her dad are trying to like patch things up how is like the mom spirit kind of like making herself choke herself it was kind of like i don't um like, like when because the mom it says like oh it's not your dad yeah like so it was like the mom spirit but does i think it was but like spirit. acting like yeah. the dad i think it was another spirit it was the... but but so that i guess that's my question so like maybe so now she has like two spirits haunting her because it wasn't the dad being possessed by a spirit because we saw that dad was outside so yeah, like and, so and that part confused hearing, me. yeah he's, he's hearing, hearing her, like, her getting choked out by yeah. something she's choking herself out essentially but it's like so that part kind of confused me it was almost like the same thing in, in with riley like so like did they do they get possessed by multiple spirits and then like I, they battle each other for who gets <laughs> to like control her body or something i like think that? what it made is that games, it really. I, yeah i think it was like i'm gonna project this mind game of on this where like you're like it's just because one because you saw the but... dad's face was not like yeah it real. looked like a zombie dad yeah it was like freaky yeah, zombie yeah. dad so that was like that like, spirit like projecting that on yeah. her uh i think it was projecting it on her to like psychically feel like i'm joking i'm joking and then Poor hey dad. we're gonna let it go Right when he gets, you know, hit in the carotid. The dad's got all the trauma. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that uh, that scene... Yeah, after all that, she stabs her dad. And then when she goes back and mind games her friend, like, hey, go to my house and pick me up mm-hmm. while she's in the parking lot. Oh, so yeah. she could be alone. My sister called that. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I was yeah, like yeah. Come over the mind like, game. The mind yeah, game. my sister's like, she's, in the, she's, she's like, no, nah, no way. I'm just like, <laughs> I think you're right. Yep, you're right. Damn. Like, it's that's rough. And she gets right there in the hospital, and she's, she can't do it. Oh, and we and there was also another scene earlier where they tried bathing Riley. Oh, and I, then I like, mentioned that and a he, little bit. And, and he, then he, like, like, comes back to life. But it's of, not really But it's the him. spirit it's still. still yeah. like, on, and he's just like, ah. The crazy spirit's still in there. Dude, bring like porcelain. That was like an evil dead moment. That moment was, like, totally evil dead. That was an evil dead moment. That freaked me out. I was like, dude, that's rough, man. This poor kid is... Going through the freaking ringer, dude. Because, uh, and then, um, but yeah, then when she goes back and then that whole scene with the little girl, I was like, I was like, oh, you could reverse this? That's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> so she's, she's like, no, you come to my place. And then it's like the weirdest and nastiest thing that you don't want to look at. Um, it just looked like a bunch of dead people. Like, it's kind of like uh, that scene in Shaun of the Dead. Where the zombies take the friend oh, at the bar yeah. and just like just rip them apart. Rip them apart. Yeah. That's what it looked like. But to this little kid who's like in this hell, where they're just like touching him. Like limbo, they got you, kid. Or, hey, hey. They, I don't think they were touching him. I think they were just like scratching him up or probably torturing they're, him or something. Like holding him down, psychically and, torturing him, yeah. then like tossing him around. Yeah. Not tossing him around, but like, like I think it was just like the camera moved so fast because they didn't want you to see what was happening. Because yeah. it was just like, oof, that is too brutal. Yeah, rough. Like so is this like, like so this is like the mean spirit world like what is this this is like a hell a limbo like that's why i they didn't say it but yeah probably a limbo but it's like, it seems but more like, like a limbo, like, limbo just, dude. It's like just endless some, like uh like just restless spirits who haven't like crossed, crossed over, over i guess yeah. yeah so then you're so that so i guess so are we to assume then the mom really did commit suicide because of the letter that the dad read and then hmm. if you believe in if you commit suicide you don't really go to heaven that's you think that's why she's there in this yeah, limo, that's her. Yeah. limo place yeah, that's well really her. the thing is if it's her or unless they're the thing is, imitating like her like pretending to be her and we don't know because oh, i didn't the thing is each time that somebody grabbed the hand it yeah. was a different person, person. yeah or so yeah. like the movie kind of with its own not mythology but with its own rules kind of is telling you like at that moment that Riley touched it, it is her mom. That's at least, that's how I understood it. I took it as... Because otherwise, then it's just like, okay, so the person that Mia saw earlier, <laughs> that's not really weird uh, squid person from the underwater <laughs> that that looks all bloated. Like, that could just be anybody. Then why would they project themselves to look like mm. that? Like, why didn't that person project to look like her mom? You get what I'm saying? Mm. So, I don't know. It's a little... My name. Because it's, it's, it's all my name. Yeah, that mom playing crazy mind games yeah dude now nah, that that spirit playing mind games as the mom 
Is what helped I her kill her dad. Almost yeah, and you helped keep, her kill Riley at the end. What's pretty wild too is you hear the um, like if you again I cheated by having the subtitles on. Uh, but you, it'll like during subtitles, it'll say like gurgling, bubbling noises. Yeah, like, that, that's where you could pick up. Yeah, like, you're like, okay, something's really off here. Like m- the mom didn't die by drowning. Right. Yeah, she died by ODing on pills. Um, and so like, I mean, unless that's like, I guess the ODing of pills maybe was like her like convulsing and drowning or anything like that. I don't know. It's but it, it's interesting enough. So I don't like. It makes me think about like now what's gonna happen for a sequel, but. I'm no. curious to see where they go from here because they could either do the route where they continue like the story and maybe continue Mia or yeah, or you have Riley another psychic something. medium like I'm gonna now or, fight yeah. back or something. Or now we have a whole other group maybe going with either the second hand if there is the mm-hmm. second hand, and or, you have all new characters or new characters yeah. maybe finding the original hand and maybe Mia continues yeah. to show up or like is it gonna know, still be set in Australia? Is it gonna go or somewhere now else? in the U.S. or like you know some random country? Greece. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in Belize. No, so. I'm kidding. Uh, but in Switzerland. That'd be funny. So yeah. we'll see. Yeah, I knew once, like, the end when, you know, she decided to kill herself that, like, when she stood up, I'm like... Release the spirit. She's not, that's not, she's that's not, not, not it. Yeah, yeah. she's yeah. like... Yeah, because yeah, exactly. there I figured... Um, I have a feeling that, that maybe she was going to die at the end. You saw the people in the, uh, in like, who, like, in the car accident or whatever, like, they didn't acknowledge her existence. I'm like, oh, yeah, everyone's like, ignoring like, her. It's yeah. a Sixth Sense experience. Oh, by the way, spoilers for Sixth Sense. But, like, it's like, oh, this is totally like a, a thing there. So, now, I, I'm assuming she was pushed by her friend. No, no, no. no she, 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 she decided she to herself. not listen yeah. to her mom. She didn't listen and to her mom and killed herself, herself because. Uh-huh. Yeah. Otherwise, the spirit would have made her push. Jade, the... Jade didn't get there in yeah. time. She saw her. She saw the, them from like the top of well, that hill, and they were already there at the bottom. Yeah. And J- and Mia had like, Riley she, in the wheelchair. She, fi- well, she finally like, realized like, that that spirit was like was not. Yeah, was not like right. that's yeah. not my yeah. mom. There's my mom would not say that. Because like, and the reason why I say that maybe she was probably pushed was because like you see the friend like start running down before or like start to like make her way down there before yeah. then. You know, the, the perspective of the car and the whole thing, right? Which is why I thought, okay, maybe she pushed her friend to keep her from from pushing uh, right, right, Riley right. off yeah. instead of... To I me, thought it at first, but then after a couple of seconds, I was like, oh, okay, no, she... I think it, like, she, yeah, Mia threw herself and then uh, Jade came and caught the chair. And, like, basically yeah. had it to prevent Riley well, from going that, down. That's, that's why I thought maybe she she did, like, end up running down and pushing her because... Doing that and then doing that, if she Because, I mean, it's a pretty steep... Well, I would think it's a, it's a pretty steep, like, drop-off there um, nah. where she was. I, I get where you're going, but... Like, I like the wheelchair yeah. would have rolled off if she would have just... No, yeah, she, let she was already... No, but she like, was already, like, at the... At the ledge, like at the end. No, I know, the... but I mean, it, it, like, there's no, there's not a flat enough spot for the wheelchair to just sit there and not roll, roll off into the. Into but the her freeway. priority would have been let me grab the wheelchair, and not push Mia into the traffic, correct? Because that would have also still have a chance to put her at risk. Like, yeah. Mia is like, oh my god, let me grab the chair. Like, I'm gonna grab him from the I'm, chair. I would have like one hand grabs the chair, the other hand pushes. No, this, like, te- the, this the is a teenage thing. girl. She is not an airbender. <laughs> like, there's not. That's not gonna happen. May- maybe I forgot. Uh, if this happened but so by her killing herself she kind of like ended her line with the spirits yes but then she became a spirit i guess i I got that i got that part correct but her killing herself doesn't take away the spirit in the kid right no i think it it kind of implied that that was already kind of starting to cleared off already but like oh because just because like the guy said over time it might go away maybe Yes. That's why when she starts walking through the hospital and going through all these areas Where and they show okay. him, I'm just yeah. like, as I call BS, like how is he, <laughs> he looks all fine now and, and the family looks so happy. It's like that looks like too fake or too. Yeah. So I don't know, but I guess it doesn't really matter. She decided not to kill him and she wanted that's, needed to get rid of the spirits that were plaguing her. And then and that's, she that's became the important and then one of them. I yeah. became one. Yeah. Now, now she can fight all the spirits. <laughs> yeah, sure. literally fight them. Literally it? punch them in the face. So, <laughs> like if, Sue said. so if if uh, that limbo world is like connected to that, can like be connected to the real world with the hand. What if the other hand can be connected to like, like heaven, like the 
the other I mean, they could, portion of the world. And then, they, they and then like part that. three is like the war between the oh two worlds. God. And then part four is like, I'm, I'm going put, into like the you're, all the paranormal, the paranormal activity. activities. Oh, like, God. I don't know if you've the heard like, travel how stuff? crazy that stuff happened. Like, happen what if you movies? get both hands and yeah, what and happens you, tell, you, you tell both of them to, I to let, let them in to each other? They explode. I think, no, well, that means like the universe implodes. It implodes, right? Yeah. Yeah. Creates, tenet. It you creates do, you do tenet. Yeah. <laughs> what it, or they just, if they put the hands, they'll just disappear straight to the walls. <laughs> well, yeah, because then you, you get one limbo fusing into the other limbo and then like just limbo the suction. whole spur will, will just explode. And if it's anything like the, like Korra, then the spirit world will just be part of the real oh, world. The real world. And so, part four of Talk to Me is just like oh now you guys have to deal with. Anthony's all the going into the Talk to Me. He's talking to me about the lore. Talk to me, universe, man. We're gonna have the multiverse. talk to me about the lore of the, of the, yeah. of the multiple spiritual planes. Talk to talk us. To That's what the that, yeah. Is. It'll be talk to us. Nice. Talk, talk to me too, and then talk to us. Wait, talk so to me and then talk so to us. was it confirmed that there's a second hand or is that just speculation that's, that's speculation because they like from what i've seen people are saying yeah it's the second hand like but those now with hand. x saying maybe not yeah i guess we'll find out on like the looking next one. yeah looking at, at that but i mean because if they're just saying that like if that the story is real this is just a hand of a person then somebody could just cut off the other hand of yeah. the same person and done well, the same like, thing. that medium has been dead yeah well the way I took like it, must have, yeah, so yeah, so they, they were dead, so they cut, cut off. off. The, the way I took it from seeing the movie is at the end, it is another hand because it is in another location, unless it's like some sort of like time. I'm assuming there, there would have been a time. Yeah, maybe time. it's like five years later. Like to her, it, it might have yeah, been seconds, but maybe time in that limbo later, world yeah, is yeah. like this is nothing. Yeah, but we'll find out maybe in the second movie. And that's why it's called Talk to Me, to me. because there's two hands. No, so, <laughs> well, well, no I, think that means, I think that's two years later. I think that's... <laughs> <laughs> Look who's talking to. It's what, so spirit. it came out last year, so that means it's coming out next year, right? Probably. I mean, these it, maybe even this year. Too yeah, they probably to... don't take too long to make. <laughs> oh, oh, take oh, my God. Yeah, it probably doesn't take long at all to film. Like and then there's not that many special effects. So. Yeah. Yeah, um, it could probably be done within a few months. All right, now two months. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, that's probably very possible. <laughs> too so too many feet. Now that we'll go into I know. Now that we'll go into the rating, I want to know what you guys think of it in terms of like a horror movie itself, because obviously I'm not yeah. gonna compare it to other oh, there's movies, stuff but just yeah. like can it, i be compared it, it, to dune or yeah, no. <laughs> uh, if there was like some singing <laughs> in the spirit world then it would have been like a 10 like uh, like once she like at the end of the movie she held the hand it was like ah, like if it did any of the, the dune singing then it would be like oh it just went from like a five to a ten mm. but no it's not a five so we gotta give it ratings yeah if you want All if right. you want or just just overall thoughts of like what you thought of it as a horror movie i think it was, I think it was like pretty decent like again I, i'm not a fan of, of horror movies um so i don't really that's also why i wanted to it recommend much, it because yeah. one of all one first of all i knew you guys haven't seen it mm-hmm. all oh, yeah. of you and then just curious since you all don't really like horror movies as much just curious to see what you would think of this one yeah, it's not bad. I I wouldn't watch it again just because um like I just have no interest in horror movies in general. Like that's okay. I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you okay. kind of also already know the the twist, but I did enjoy watching it the second time. But it's not like something like oh yeah, like you know what? I want to watch a good horror movie. What's a good? Uh, movie? Oh, that's <laughs> right. Yeah, talk to me is pretty good. Like, I, I'm not gonna gotcha. Like, n- not to that regard. Like it's a good movie. You'd recommend you would, it, but you not wouldn't see it again. You I wouldn't talk recommend. to it again. I, no. Okay. <laughs> once was okay. Yeah, like once is fine. Like it's something you don't even fall for peer pressure to do it again and again. And again. Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> it's been for more than ninety seconds. I don't know if I can handle thirty <laughs> seconds, or let alone ninety minutes. But it, I, it definitely, I, I recommend it. I recommend it. it's a, it's a, it's a solid movie. It's a really solid movie. Really good. <laughs> um, I guess I'll yeah I'll go. Um, yeah, it was a, a delightful surprise. I liked it again. Um understanding when horror is done right it doesn't feel cheap it doesn't feel like 
schlocky. It doesn't feel like they're trying so hard. Uh, they're telling an interesting and, and fun story, and they're using a unique kind of concept with this embalmed hand. I think that was really ingenious. And from like a filmmaking standpoint, like it's cohesive. I can follow it. I can understand kind of what's going on. And uh, it, it's kind of like has its pulse into like, you know, understanding how the characters are doing their decisions. And even like, you know, I, I even like some of the other like side characters. Like I liked, um, I, I liked the mom Sue a lot. I thought she was, you know, obviously it's, you know, I'm a nerd here, so I'm uh, sort of biased by seeing Miranda Otto in more things. But like, she was a cool character, as like, sort of like as like the cool mom. But um, like all these, like all the little dynamics going on, and it's just the movie again, a, an unexpected surprise, and I was pretty delighted. I wouldn't say it's like um, I wouldn't put in some like this is like oh one of the best horror movies of all time, but it's really it's it's really cool. It's really unique. Um, if I were to have to give it like a rating, um, I would probably have to give it four out of five embalmed fingers from the hand. <laughs> so, solid. Uh, solid. yeah, pretty solid. Uh, just no thumb. Pick. Yeah. Just, just no thumb. Just all yeah, fingers. If he, if he, if I hit the rest, then, 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 then like his hand I'm, would be stuck I'm there. Done. Yeah. yeah, I'm done. I'm not doing it. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, really cool. Um, like it definitely, unlike Zach, I think it's when later on, I'd probably like, go back and rewatch it just to see like some ways of how it all connects yeah it's very very cool i liked it a lot nice. Anthony? similar to zach you know yeah it was cool i definitely recommend it i don't know if i'd watch it because i'm the same i'm not like oh i need to i love rewatching these horror yeah. movies um but, my adrenaline up yeah <laughs> um, horror movies. yeah i mean i like some of them to an extent but yeah they're not my favorite genre but there have been some that i've watched i'm like oh wow that was actually like pretty damn good like baba duke like we mentioned I, I guess i think i like the ones that are more psychological horror more so than just like a, i would pop yeah. up and scare you from behind like just jump scares yeah, yeah. Th- i've seen some of the jump scares i'm like it, they're so obvious when they're gonna happen. you already know i already know it's gonna happen so the sound effect that plays when the jump scare happens doesn't scare me and so just like uh, it's like another like, one like, like, one of I, like i'm in a theater and i'm hearing people scream like do you not know it's coming come on guys <laughs> um but no yes and this one's definitely in that camp that it's it's more like creepy imagery more so than jump Jump scares maybe there was like one jump scare in this movie in this movie but it wasn't like a it was just a jump scare because of like maybe like the first time they show the spirit when she grabbed the hand It, it jumped because oh like you see a random person there in front of her like not expecting that but throughout the movie it's like very you know slow moving and calculated like camera movements it's not just like a, oh we're gonna do this to do we're gonna get you <laughs> like yeah so i like those and like it, just a lot of creepy stuff and stuff that you know could stay in your mind to freak you out later in life that those are you know at least to me those are like more scary than the jump scares kind of like the True. scene when she's having her dream like in quotes yeah and then she sees something in the corner of the room like that to me i was like oh screw this movie i was like i don't want to see this <laughs> honestly can, can, that scene like scary, those yeah. are more creepier than jump scares any yeah exactly like, for sure. like i don't want to look at this um because then like when you're going to bed at night that's like, what you said the end of the movie <laughs> like, exactly like, that's why i call it psychological <laughs> horror it's like it makes you double check and double think certain things like you hear those all those like weird sounds in your house you're like what, what, what's going on <laughs> yeah but uh the unsettling stuff but yeah um but yeah overall it was good um better than i thought it would be because I, again i thought it was going to be a jump scare movie and it wasn't um and i think i like more horror comedies like the later evil dead movies not the first mm. one um but yeah i i liked it i think when the second one comes out i'll i'll definitely give it a watch now knowing that like it's not gonna be you know jump scare fest cool. uh, and i'll be interested to see where they go if they like see if, if they, they if they or... do a talk to me universe and have you know uh <laughs> limbo battles or something like that <laughs> it's gonna be talking <laughs> to <laughs> <laughs> No, not 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 dancing under a, a pole and <laughs> uh, maybe mia finds some loophole and then is able to come back to life because she like 
does some weird hand stuff. Then I'm gonna, <laughs> but, but, then, but then what about her body? She does the Charles Xavier where she's like, oh. you know, possesses a, a, a comatose person. Sure, right like, I'm back. Oh, you just reminded me. So unlike this movie, I saw a movie that came out, I think like two or three years ago called Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. Mm-hmm. Not good. I didn't like it. Yeah. <laughs> it. It wasn't scary at all because it was just like, Let's I mean, try it to wasn't jump really scare even a movie. horror movie. Yeah, it wasn't a horror movie. It was just like like La Llorona and all these other ones. No, like, dude, like a it, like a. It was nothing. Whatever. I'm not gonna spoil yeah. that movie. But <laughs> it was just harder. like yeah, it wasn't scary. I'm just like, why are people saying this movie was just like good? I, I didn't understand it, but yeah, this one was much better. So I would definitely recommend this one. The, people the, with no taste will see something. The, the one I want to see right now that is uh, getting pretty hype, and I'll probably report on this back later, is uh, Late Night with the Devil. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the one I want to see. I've heard very good yeah. things from a couple a, a different co-worker, sources. A co-worker of ours. I have a friend of mine that I'll, lives I'll wait till you New see it to see if... I mean, yeah, it's very... That's Malkian, it. man. I, I know. I, I like him. That boy know. good. <laughs> Again, I'm not like, I need to go see this uh, Exorcist movie or whatever. Yeah. People well, get people people like getting... Like footage and stuff, so yeah, it's, well, it's we interesting. Have... Right now, also in horror, we have uh, Immaculate. Immaculate. We have the the first Omen. I was like, the oh, first great. Omen. Why is there a prequel to the Omen? That's kind of. Um, you also have the, the uh, Winnie the Pooh blood two and honey. blood blood and honey blood to honey <laughs> blood blood and yeah it's blood like, and it's I don't know why they don't say these movies for October Which, blood and honey this doesn't make sense I don't know it's like October comes around and there's, there's one no horror, horror movie and, and because like oh it came out in September it's like what happened to the Halloween horror yeah. movies it's like. Don't Dude. worry, Anthony. It got moved to the following month in November. That's so now so we get to just rewatch Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. I know. <laughs> Let's see, I would rather watch that. Now you get to watch the fifty well, percent off. The dumb thing that they're doing now is they're releasing the horror movies before Halloween, so that by the time it's Halloween, it's out on like streaming or yeah, purchase. So dumb. And so it's dumb. like, oh, well, well, like see it people can see it in the yeah, theater. Like, Have people fun. want to go out during. It doesn't even have to be October 31st. You can do just it any moment October. in October, and it should just be scary movie month in the theaters. Yeah. And now, like, even last year, Megan came out in, like, January. Or February. That was last year. Yeah. yeah. Super yeah, early January. last year. Yeah. For no Meg reason. Freaking. And the, Hollywood does this a lot, and that's why all these movies are coming out now. For some reason, it's kind of weird. It's, like, almost counter program where it's, like, let's bring out all this... I mean, Possession I guess stuff they make money around the Easter time. It's kind of weird. I don't know why they do that. I guess but. they make money because obviously there's not many movies out during this time. Yeah, the but beginning of the year, there's usually not that many. I feel like they could squeeze it in in October and milk the like horror. Yeah, because now, now um, summer movies kind of start in April. Yeah. So it's like you have April to like August, August probably, essentially. Yeah. So, okay. Just so then just wait till mid August yeah. or September. To start doing these horror movies, it's kind of weird, but hey, I mean, if they're making money, then I guess keep doing it. Yeah. I just feel like they probably could make more money in October, because also I think October is one of those empty months that yeah. barely anything comes out. So. October, November ish. Then like late November, That's December like gets the a Oscar little more. Movies and yeah. all that. Um, well, I guess. Oh, yeah. Do well, you do you recommend it, Danny? Uh, yeah. What are your <laughs> no? I did not. No, I, you don't recommend I, it. I hated no, this one. Oh, I, like, I give it like a. Six point five seven, I guess. What was what was this so, in your rating of twenty twenty three movies? Like, like three? This was number seven two. Also. This is number two. It was either two or three, but yeah, I'm pretty like, sure it was number two because number one was. Oh, uh, no, number three one. was Oppenheimer, and number two was Talk to Me, and number yeah. one was minus one. Wow, yeah. dude. Okay. Minus yeah. freaking one. Because I don't care about um, that. Just and that. Then, you so, like this movie better than Oppenheimer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All nice. right. And All then right. since X and Anthony gave their scores, a uh, seven for me. Seven. Okay. Cool. Nice. Uh, well, Seven out of ten party goers. Yes, I did like this movie. <laughs> Clearly, because I recommended it. Um, really? Hey, you can yeah. recommend something you don't. Well, like. true. Um, like I can recommend like Meg Two, because I think we'd all enjoy it. But it's a bad movie. Yeah. Well, there's a difference between enjoying a movie and <laughs> thinking a movie is good. Uh, although I enjoyed this movie and thought it was good. Mm-hmm. Um, and. Kind of like what you said, I did enjoy it more for having like more like a psychological like story, a good story and like easy to follow and kind of um, some twist at the end, you know? Yep. But it wasn't just, oh, here's a jump scare, you know, and, here's someone and doing stabbing some, 50 people. some yeah. dumb cliche like horror movies. Um, like Thanksgiving would have been horrible if it wasn't funny. 
<laughs> but because it was funny and entertaining, it was like, okay, I'm, I'm I mean, fine with that's like, its own category. The, exactly. Like, I'm fine horror. with like this nonsense because it's funny. <laughs> exactly. Um, so I guess for me, my rating will be somewhere between like a 9 and a 9 and a 9.5. Nine 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 Damn. Nine. Nice. It's, Damn, man. It's up there. It's up there. And yeah, get, get we already know from last year. Um, my, yeah. my ranking, but yeah, they get you watching the Baba Duke, man. That's I don't know in terms of like all time horror movies where this would land. I think I'd have to think about it and figure it out somewhere. But I do want to see the Baba Duke mm-hmm. uh, at some point, and um, yeah, I'm just glad you guys got to see this movie and kind of uh, get to enjoy. Yeah, it. I feel that it was worth my time, and I, I had a good amount of fun with it. It was good. It's pretty damn good. So, um, again, you, if you sat through us talking about this, again, we don't get to normally talk about horror, but, you know, get with it. This, um, this uh, podcast is probably longer than the movie because the movie is an hour and a half. It's like an hour and 35 minutes. <laughs> yeah. We're like at an hour. And we're at an hour and 12. Oh, damn. Yeah. That's okay. incredible. Almost. The movie is like an hour 25 without credits. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. So, again, we got go. to talking about this movie for an hour and 12 minutes. It's definitely good. It's definitely worth talking about. So if you want to talk to us about talk to me, definitely. <laughs> no, dude, that's the third movie. That's the third. Uh, talk you know, to you? Yeah, we talk to you. <laughs> them. What? It's gonna talk cross to- over with the Jordan Peele yeah. movies. Us with us. Nope. And then someone goes, <laughs> nope. <laughs> talk to nope. <laughs> yeah. Nope. I'm not gonna talk to. It. So if you want to keep the conversation, or if you saw this movie back uh, last year, like Danny, and you also thought it was awesome, or you have other thoughts, or you want to have other insights. We welcome it. Definitely reach out to us on Threads, Instagram, uh, X, formerly known as Twitter, um, and you know we're gonna put up the you know what you always see on our posts the uh, emoji uh, combo. I'm interested to see what Danny pops up with the emoji. But uh, yeah, well, I did put this one long ago when it came out. So okay, you gotta redo go back, it. Go back and redo uh, it. You could you could go find it. Absolutely. I'm gonna guess a hand, a ghost. <laughs> um, Scissors. Uh, I don't. I don't uh, maybe scissors. scissors. Well, the, yeah, that he put. Uh, yeah, it's gotta be. Uh, yeah, a hand, a ghost, a scissors, no, and I mean, you could put a wheelchair, or you could put. Man, uh, what else so, could you put yeah, as the fourth? What, what thing? did you put, Danny? <laughs> so I put, um, like a a handshake. Oh, uh-huh. nice. A candle. Okay. There you go. The candle. A candle. door. Uh, no. Stopwatch clock. The stopwatch clock. To do the 90 seconds. And a kangaroo. And a kangaroo. <laughs> Damn, we forgot about that. Yeah. Oh, dude. yeah. The kangaroo. The kangaroo imagery the... of, like, you know, do yeah. we put it out of its misery? And then that, like, seeped into, you know, yeah. the ghost kind of like, hey, you know, you got to make up for letting the kangaroo die. And Riley saw the kangaroo. So that yeah. affected him. So I was like, damn, dude. It's really good. Anyway, it's the reason why four another emojis. Reason, another reason why this movie's freaking awesome. Anyway. Yeah, but she was gonna run over it and kill it anyway. But so then she like, couldn't. But but it was like, damned if you do, damned if you don't. Mm. She could have called oh. it in. Anyway, it's not that. It's, it's not that. That's yeah, not the she should have called it in. But that's not. But the she point. didn't do anything. That's not the point of could or couldn't. It was just more of just sort of like yeah, like that's really extreme. I don't think I can do that. And then that again ties in at the very end. Again, great storytelling. Really good stuff. Um, so with that, everybody, thank you so much once again for tuning in. Catch us next time for a soon-to-be-revealed Zach recommendation. You know, Zachs are always either top-tier, high-caliber, or something uh, that's going to be, you know, surprisingly, but uh, a bad pleasantly... Movie. No, it won't be a bad <laughs> age movie. It's pleasantly unexpected. I can't wait for that. So, yeah, uh, I, have to, I have to think about it. <laughs> no, I can, we can't wait for it. it. Yeah, I want to give him some time because uh, he likes to bring up the good stuff. So uh, until then, guys, once uh, everybody, once again, thank you so very much for tuning in and uh, talk to us next time. Later. (laughs) See you guys later.